Today I'd like to talk to you about what ChatGPT and I call the sequel dilemma. It could also be a movie series, a series series, comic book, whatever. I think it applies to any type of media, but here in particular we're gonna talk about books. Here's the situation. There's a book series that you absolutely love and then a sequel comes out. You're excited, you can't wait to read it. And now the question is, how do you prepare for that? Maybe prepare is a too harsh word here, but you'll get what I mean. Do you read all the books in the series that have come out up until this point? Or do you just read the summaries? Or do you just straight up jump into the new thing? You could also kind of combine these and read the summaries of some books. For example, you could read the summaries of the first three books and then read the fourth and fifth book in full, but that's basically it. These are the options that you have. Sounds simple, and yet, when I was deciding to reread or not to reread Cradle, which was 11 books long when Waybound came out, I discovered that this was not as simple as it appears to be. So the rest of this video is about that. The complications I encountered while preparing for the Cradle series finale. Hello, I'm Claire and I like some books. The Cradle series I do enjoy quite a bit, so I was very excited about the final book in the series. Now my first instinct was, ooh, what a great opportunity to reread all of them books. All of them. Now Waybound was the 12th book, so I would need to reread 11 books to reread them all. Which in itself isn't a problem in the sense of I do enjoy that series, so rereading those books would be enjoyable. However, every second that I am rereading a book, I am not reading another book. So there is an opportunity cost of which books you will not be reading because you are rereading the series. When I looked at it that way, it turned out that I wasn't really ready to give up on 11 other books just so I could reread this one. So I moved on to considering the second option, which was to just read the summaries. Now Cradle does have like a whole wiki thing and there's a lot of content out there that can help you remember who the characters were, what's going on with them, all, all of this stuff. Yet I found it boring. I found that just like rereading stuff was nice, like it wasn't horrible, but it just made me miss the world even more. I think this approach to preparing for a sequel is great if the series was not as fun to read. That kind of sounds wrong, but I think you know what I mean. And Cradle in particular is, is a fun journey to be on. And I didn't want to miss out on it. So just reading the summaries was not going to work in this case for me either. And I think I need to mention real quick here that one of the reasons why I wanted to reread the whole series is because the last time I read it was two years ago. And in the meantime, some of the details had faded in my mind. Let's say it like that. For example, my hubby, Ryan, he reread the series like a couple of months ago, so he just went straight into Waybound. He didn't need any reminders because the books were still fresh in his mind. And the third option, which was to just jump straight into the new book, was really not an option for me in this particular case. As mentioned, I kind of forgot some of the details and I really wanted to be on top of my game when it came to following all the little intricacies. It just didn't appeal to me to go in and read a book when I might be forgetting some small but important details that would allow me to enjoy the book more. So yeah, at that point I had decided I was not gonna reread it, I was not gonna read the summaries, 
and I couldn't just go in and read the book. As you can see, I had a tiny bit of a problem there. <laughs> hmm. What I did next was to basically reevaluate my previous statements. Now, I was still not gonna just jump into the book, so the third option was out. And I still really hated reading the summaries. I wasn't gonna do that one either. So I came back to the first option to reread everything. Now, I even have a video on this out that I have way too many books that I have not yet read. And I saw rereading Cradle as a step back so to say, on my promise that I was going to read more of the books that I have not read yet and I had already bought. However, taking a closer look at that statement has made me realize that I wanted to read the books that I already owned and haven't read yet was because I wanted to appreciate the books that I already own more. And well, rereading a book that you already own because you want to experience the joy of it once again falls completely into this category. So I gave myself the permission to reread the books and to tell you honestly, I did not regret it one bit. I really enjoyed getting back into the cradle world and I did enjoy the last book more because of it. I still haven't enjoyed it as much as I wanted to because frankly the book is not that great, but it's a whole different issue. That's it. I would really like to know what do you do when a sequel comes out? Do you do one of these three things or combine them in a way? Or do you do something completely different that I have not yet thought of? That I would really like to know. Until the next time you click on one of my videos, bye bye The next sequel dilemma I'll be having is when the new Enola Holmes comes out. I have read the books a few months ago, so maybe I will not need to reread them. And yet I keep thinking, but they are kind of short. They are like really short. <laughs> Guess we'll see what happens.